Hey everyone, hope you're having a great Wednesday afternoon and trying to stay cool because ugh, it's so hot and so humid outside all across Alabama right now. Here's a live look over Summerton. The sky resembles a summer day. This is what it normally looks like in mid to late June with those puffy clouds showing up all over in the distance. Lots of convection with all that humidity. All that evaporation taking place in the low levels of the atmosphere. So right now we're sitting at 93 degrees in Summerton right now with a dew point of 70. And a dew point of 70 is very indicative of a tropical air mass. The higher that dew point is, the more humid it is outside. And when you're in the low 70s, it definitely feels uncomfortable, bordering on oppressive at times if you're outside for too long. When you factor in the humidity, it feels more like 99 in Tuscaloosa right now, 98 in Fayette. We've got 91 with the heat index in Birmingham, a little bit more tolerable. And then heat index, heat indices in the 80s in Alabaster and Clanton right now. Summer heat's not going to be going anywhere for the time being. With all the summer heat in place, of course, we have summer storms that are firing down in the southern half of our viewing area near Chilton County right now, seeing plenty of action with these isolated storms that are producing quite a bit of lightning strikes as they track over into Coosa County and now Talladega County as well. Sylacauga about to get a nice quick shower here. Same with Childersburg and soon to be Goodwater and Alexander City. All those communities that are up and down Highway 280. Overnight tonight, we'll be watching this cluster of storms that forms off to the west over in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. As it tracks east, if it holds its strength together, and once it, enter, once it enters west Alabama, it may be possibly producing some brief damaging wind gusts. So by around midnight tonight, it'll be all up and down the Highway 45 corridor from Meridian all the way up to Tupelo. And then once it crosses over into Alabama, this is where it could maybe produce some brief damaging winds at around 1 to 2 o'clock in the morning. Although, because we'll have lost daytime heating, it won't stay together all that well. So by 3 o'clock in the morning, I think we're only looking at just rain up and down I-65. Then it quickly fizzles out. By 3 o'clock in the morning, we're pretty much done. So here's the main takeaways. We've got a lot of rain and storms tonight. Maybe a little bit on the stronger side farther west, but the farther east you go, the weaker those storms get. For tomorrow, the rain coverage will be, again, isolated like it is today. Not like the past few days where the rain coverage has definitely been more scattered. That's the main theme for the forecast for the next seven days. The summer heat's not going anywhere, and the rain coverage will be more limited. So those rain chances not getting above 40% after tomorrow. We're staying at 10 to 20% for Friday all the way through the weekend, and then at the start of next week, still going to be seeing highs in the 90s and a lot of summer humidity. This is typical of Alabama, folks, so be sure to try to stay cool for the next few days.